last recorded and voice of it I thought so, but I did, didn't hit record. Hey hey and welcome to this video. My name is Nina again because I have been recording this voiceover well, I thought I did and I didn't hit record which was lovely. Welcome to this video my love. Today we are tackling a new, the second area on this new island called Sushi. Very exciting. It's a short one. It's a bit of a short one and don't really know why because it is quite the big area that we're tackling today for some reason. Um, It still happened to be short so we're just gonna run with that. I tried to add some stuff, you know, towards the end, design a bit more, but it still ended up being like 15 minutes long. So, you know, it's 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 a quick one. It's a quick one today. I will try to maybe record something towards the weekend, give you a longer one, you know, because we all love a long video. But without further ado, let's jump in today's build. First up, I needed to clean up some weeds because I actually kept all of them because when I started up the island, obviously you get a ton of weeds growing out and I'm just gonna pluck them throughout this build for whenever we don't need them, but we have the overgrown weeds whenever we need them. So I think that's gonna be a nice little trick to have them all over the island because I think it's gonna go very well with the you know nautical theme that we have going on on this island, you know. Um, I feel so strange. Might be because I, you know, have been recording this again, or I thought I did. And it might be because I was in a voice call yesterday with a bunch of friends until 2 a.m. Even though I knew that I had to edit, but we were just absolutely pissing ourselves. Apparently, I have now met a old, an old Swedish lord. Didn't know that, but I'm a married woman. I, I definitely am. I, we did, totally did not make that up. Moving on now because I'm going on about stuff that none of, none of you cares about. Let's go to the build. We built a giant lake as you could just see. So we are also going to expand this a bit further because I wanted this to look like the boats are actually on top of the water. So I'm going to expand it out further in a couple of minutes to um, kind of hide the awkward like dirt fringe that it's creating whenever you you know create waterscaping there's this like awkward dirt border that's you know bordering the water and the and the land so that you can't see that i wanted to have the lake be you know far out enough that you know you can't see that i don't know if i'm making sense my brain is absolutely smoked um i also don't know how much i'm going to be able to edit this voiceover i might not even edit it at all and just throw in a couple of meme things like I always do because as I said I am running out of time I am um, my, my my time frame is really not in place at the moment I feel like my videos come out late because I'm just always thinking maybe I can throw in a little meme here and maybe some some more that there and and, and then it's like already seven o'clock and I was gonna upload at five so apologies if this video comes out late and if not you might get a beautifully unedited Nina you know who knows who knows I'm gonna put a disclaimer up if I did decide to go for that but anyways we are building a pier today I am really really happy with how this turned out also the nooks cranny and the house and the tent everything's gonna stay small as I said in the first video that I uploaded. If you didn't check that out, please make sure to do so because I did get quite a few comments. Can you please not? My love, you might want to check your car engine. That did not sound very healthy. What exactly was that? Or was that a motorcycle? Jesus Christ, I really hope nothing's gonna explode in the next few minutes. That, that would be a very interesting video, wouldn't it? Love, no, not now, please. Also look at Scoot with butterfly I couldn't I couldn't it was too much for me I had to include it and there will also be another clip later of him just sitting by the water and I just couldn't handle it and he was so excited about his new house because obviously this is a new island that was my back bed squeaking um but yeah up here and buildings are gonna stay small if you, again check out the first video if you don't know how I did that I did explain it briefly and there are tons of other videos out there because I did get so many comments asking me how I did it I did explain it in the video my love you might just want to watch it all the way through um but yeah we are almost done with the pier section I will fidget with this a bit more because I wanted it to be blocked off to a certain point so that you can't get too close to the you know, edge of the water. 
so that the lake seems a bit bigger because you can't see the weird brim that I was talking about earlier. So you will see me, oh my god, can he please stop? So you will see me um, edit that a couple of times. All right, I had to close my window now because my neighbor likes to ride his very strangely modified electric toy car um, that he made so it sounds like, a, I don't know, if, I don't even know what it's supposed to sound like. Just like a, like a better engine, so like an actual fucking motorcycle. Um, and it's very annoying because he keeps doing that during the day and you can never keep your window open because the bitch likes to make noise and I don't really love that because he's very strange. He's about, I don't know, he's very strange. Very strange guy. Each to their own, I guess. Um, let's continue on, please. Okay, we are moving on to the street now, which I am so happy about. There is still room to, you know, decorate. There we have school. Look at my baby. I love it. Me so cute. And whenever I wanted to get into the shot, he rudely moved removed himself from the shot, which I did strongly dislike and it really hurt my feelings. But then I had the beautiful little chat with him, you know, him talking about how happy he was about his home that he now has. Um so you know he kind of redeemed himself because he is just way too cute to be, you know, annoyed at him. Um but Moving on, we are designing the build. Oh god, what is going on today? Voiceover chaos again, brain is in shambles, so is this video, what can I say? I really like how this road turned out because, again, there is room for, like, sprinkling, sprinkling in some more details and stuff throughout the process of building up this island because I am still also in the process of, you know, stocking up on items from treasure islands and stuff because I do not have proper storage at home um like in my little starter house so i have to keep my stuff on the beach so i kind of i'm kind of hesitant to like stop up stock up on too many things because they are already completely full all of my beaches but i think there's still room to like you know have some dropped items here and there and like some leaf piles some like scattered papers and stuff but i still need to stock up on those things um and just do it you know throughout the process of, of creating this island because we just started it but in general i'm really really happy with how this turned out and also the color scheme i am, i am in love with the colors that we're using for this island it makes me so happy it might also be why i'm feeling so inspired because i don't think i've ever really had like primary color color scheme you know with the with the yellows and the blues and some reds here and there and it's just making me feel very happy it just puts me in such a good mood whenever i design this and i feel like i can't put my controller down like i just want to keep designing which is so good because i i've been feeling a bit you know burnt out and i i, I really like that that's been you know gone now so uh, i really really appreciate that thank you so much animal crossing gods for for giving me my inspiration back but yeah really happy with how this turned out also you might see a little cut in a few minutes because we did actually decorate the transition area between the build that we're currently creating and the resident services buildings on stream last night and um, by the time that you're watching this and i'm really happy with how it turned out so there will be a few bits and bobs where you will see that this left side that we're currently on you know creating the building with the retro transportation stops it will be a bit more decorated with like some roads and some more buildings and stuff and um i think it actually kind of helped it to come together and imagine me a bit better how it's going to look in the end because obviously if you have like blank spaces to, spaces to the sides you're always kind of worried that it might not you know fit the surrounding areas or how you're going to connect it to the next build so i'm just very very happy with the shape also that it turned out to be because we have this you know kind of straight road all the way along kind of like the brim you know front facing to the front facing beach and um, i don't know if that was a correct sentence it probably very much was was not then it kind of takes this turn towards Renee's house, which we're going to expand this build to as well, because the build would have been like 10 minutes, so it would have ended in like two minutes or like one minute or so. So I added Renee's little house to the build, who's going to have, I don't really know what exactly she's going to have, because 
It's just gonna look a bit weird. Here you can see me check back and see that there are still a couple of trees poking up because obviously I didn't really wanna have trees in the middle of the lake. So I removed all of them and then I was happy and then I was ready to move on and sprinkle in some more touches to the street. But Renee's gonna have like a milk fish pottery shop. So I don't really know what exactly you would call that. It's probably more like towards a grocery store um, next to Nook's Cranny. No idea how that's gonna work out, you know, business-wise, because you probably wouldn't want to have your your shop right located next to a, another shop. But maybe he's like more furniture stuff, and she's like, you know, the grocery store st 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 stuff to like a supermarket to get your foods and stuff, um, or just milk and fish, because that's obviously all that people are gonna live here on this off of on this island. Jesus Christ, my brain is absolutely in shambles i think i've already said that but <laughs> jesus lordy this is gonna be a this is gonna be fun to edit this is gonna be so much fun to edit if i'm gonna edit but yeah here you can also see me kind of like finishing up the left part and then i think in like a couple of minutes you will see that little time jump to when we have the left side decorated and i did move it around and now i decided to move on to you know, work on Renee's house as well. I was initially gonna give her like a little bridge moment in front of her house, just have like this little canal out of the river mouth, like leading up to her house and then have a bridge leading across like a fake bridge because obviously we also can't work with like inclines and bridges really because we don't have the upgraded resident services. Um, but then I decided that I think I'm gonna lead it and make it just like a natural kind of river, lead it over to the right somewhere. I'm not really sure how we're gonna connect it or what we're gonna build off to the right from here, but it's gonna be like another more natural area, I think. Maybe like some farming stuff, I can definitely see that. But definitely please help me out and decide, A, what we're gonna do like kind of towards the right and the left side of the lake, uh, like in the back when you're like on that little pier and you're looking out onto the lake. I don't want anything towards the center because I want it to feel like it's going on for a little while. But I can definitely see maybe some buildings popping out on one side, some woods popping out up on the other side or something like that. So definitely get your ideas going and also what we could do next to Renee's house, what we're gonna connect it to because I would love to hear your ideas because you're always so creative. But honestly, for her house, I just did some very like simple natural decor. I was initially gonna make this like a little pier moment ag again, like we kind of did between the two other buildings with, you know, some wooden pathing and then put some barrels and stuff on there. But I decided to keep it natural because I really loved how this felt like a little nook that you could come and maybe sit and watch, you know, over, over the lake, just look over that and enjoy the view. So I decided to keep all the weeds there and stuff because I just I just really liked it. And we're, then we're just gonna section that off with a plain party lights uh, arch and some, you know, the, the, the shop items that I talked about earlier. So the milk little crates that I have. Also, again, the codes I will work and try to get them updated on the website sometime this weekend maybe for the next video on tuesday we will see how it's going to work out because we all know that my time management is definitely not the best um but i will try my best for you my loves so, so that you can grab all the codes that you might want to grab because i feel like i have su such good codes on this island i love them all to bits and pieces i think they go very very well with the you know, vibe of this island, but I can already peep and sense that we are approaching the end of this video. So thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, that it was somewhat helpful to you. Again, get your ideas and comments down below. I would love to read them and reply to them, even though I'm already a week behind on comments. I feel like my brain is just very strange these days. But it's gonna get better and working it um so again thank you so much for watching i will be live on twitch tomorrow if you'd like to plop over there not really sure on which island we're gonna work or maybe we're gonna play the sims but we will see i'm feeling very inspired for animal crossing so probably that and other than that i will be back here on tuesday with another lovely video that I will be building right after I finish editing this because I'm very inspired. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like the video. I would love it. It would help out greatly and I would really, really appreciate it. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, you know? 
would help out a great deal and I would love to see you here. So I'm going to leave you now with a montage of this finished area. Take care of yourself, my love. Until next time and bye-bye. Why did I just wave as if you were here? Bye-bye. <laughs>